I'm a boss bitch. I am a CEO. Don't talk to me. You can sit with us. Type of vibe. So there's that. Awkward. Fight me in the comments. Just saying. Last but not least is... Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm guessing you've already read today's title, but I thought while in quarantine, I would show you guys my must have or my staple pieces in my wardrobe. I know that some of them can't be worn right now, but we're staying hopeful that we can still wear some of them and still be in some sunshine this year. It's okay. We're just gonna put that into the universe. We're going to be able to wear things like shorts and underwear and bikinis. It's okay. It's fine. Get but I thought I'd just show you guys what I would say are my top 10 pieces. These are things I either quite literally live in or if anyone asks me like what's a must have or what I can't live without when it comes to my wardrobe. These are like my go to things. Pretty standard things, but you'd be surprised how many people actually don't have them. So yeah, I'm gonna take the camera into my actual wardrobe instead, hold it up and show you guys. Um, I will try them on so you guys can see what they look like too. And talk you guys through the pieces that I would say every single person should have in their wardrobe. So let's go. Okay, I need to stand like back here so you guys can see me properly, but we are situated in my walk-in wardrobe now. I just want to quickly say, because I feel like some people might ask where, what I'm wearing is from. Grey tracksuit bombs are just grey tracksuit bombs, but my top is from Camouflage Junkie. For anyone who follows me on Instagram, you may have seen that I recently was like obsessed with them, talking about them loads and loads and loads. Genuinely love their stuff. I just love the way it sits. I love the way it fits. Underneath here is like a sports bra. Just so you guys know, it's very, very true to size if you do choose to purchase it. I will put the link in the bio for it. Um, but it is very true to size. Um, so if you want it like a bit looser, I'd definitely get, get like a size up, like say to get a size up. But this is where that is from. My grey tracksuit bottoms are just my grey tracksuit bottoms. And yeah, let's begin. So my first staple piece, which I feel like you, everyone should have, is literally just a plain white oversized shirt. So this is how mine looks on. <laughs> this is what it looks like on. I am obsessed with this one because I like the sleeves. For me, the detail in the sleeves is everything. So I like the fact that I can unbutton it and have it completely wide and open. And I like the fact that I can button it, but it's still like a nice, kind of like a bell bottom jeans, but with sleeves, balloon type of sleeves. Um, yeah, I guess this is a balloon sleeves kind of vibe. I just feel like a white shirt is necessary i feel like you can wear it with any type of shoe whether it's trainers boots colored heels plain black heels like no matter what the piece is i just feel like a plain white shirt crisp nice straight collar this probably needs ironing so don't judge me is one of the best things you can have in your wardrobe if you don't necessarily have a white one i just think like an oversized shirt in general is amazing you can kind of dress it up dress it down if you want maybe like a nice chunky necklace with it, some statement earrings, a nice red lip, like keep the outfit nice and simple and then dress it up. Either way, I just think it looks absolutely phenomenal. So that is like my first 100% go-to wardrobe staple piece. My next go-to piece is another other than some ripped jeans. So <laughs> this is what they look like on. I'm not gonna lie, um, they are way too big for me, but that's actually what I like about them. Obviously, typically I would wear them with a belt. There is a mirror here, guys, that's why I keep looking here. I'd wear them with a belt, but I feel like ripped jeans or just a variety of jeans, but definitely some with rips in are necessary. These are my favorite go-to ones. I think the reason I like them so much is because of the hip to waist ratio. So obviously this is too big, but if I typically wear it with a belt, this is how it would sit. So it's very much like cinch in the waist and make the rest of your baldy look gorgeous, hunty. So I would probably style this with the same shirt that I have on now and just a pair of flats or a pair of heels. Nothing absolutely crazy. But yeah, I definitely think that a plain top or even a busy top, but just typically like a one color style top, a jumper, a hoodie, no matter what it is. I feel like when you wear ripped jeans with an outfit, it kind of pulls it all together, it finishes it off. So for me, this is like my second must have in your wardrobe. 
Next we have one of my personal favourites and when I say, oh god this is so lopsided, when I say personal favourites I mean it's literally items that I live in, bodysuits, like I live in a good bodysuit. Amazing, um, shout out to the fact that you can see my underwear underneath, I will be keeping that on for the purposes of the video. Um, also, for anyone that's going to ask, I burnt myself recently on my towel roll in my bedroom, my heated towel roll, literally like it's now starting to come off so it can heal properly underneath but god knows it looked awful a couple of days ago but yeah so a bodysuit guys i love like when i say love i am obsessed with a good bodysuit i just think it goes with absolutely anything you can wear it by itself you can dress it up you can wear it with like a nice blazer and some jeans and some heels like bodysuits for me are just the ultimate like core thing you need in your wardrobe it also saves time like Sometimes I'm not a fan of the whole like tucking in a t-shirt into jeans or trousers or tracksuit bottoms. Like I like just, you know, a bodysuit, chill at home with tracksuit bottoms on, jazz it up, go out in some heels, look snazzy and nice and whatnot. So for me, this is definitely one of my go-tos and I love a plunge line. I just think it makes something very, very simple look super, super sexy. Bam! Oof, I think we all already knew that grey tracksuit bottoms were going to be the next item. <laughs> Again, one of my favourite things to wear. I am even pretty sure that someone on Instagram told me that I need to slow down on the grey tracksuit bottoms and that he's sick and tired of seeing them. Because honestly, I literally live in them. I just think there's something about them. Like, I love wearing all black, but there's something about grey tracksuit bottoms that I just think accentuates your body. The reason I like these ones so much is because of the detailing. Like, I like that they're just plain cotton. I like that they go out of the hips a little bit, but I really like the pockets on them. I like the buttons down the middle. I love a cuffed bottom tracksuit. I don't like the ones that are, um, like, just normal, like, flared or just, like, straight line tracksuit bottoms. Like, that is just so not me. Like, this style of bodysuit and tracksuit bottoms could not be more me if I tried. Like, this is literally me to a T. So typically like I'd either wear it like this or there's been times that I've literally worn tracksuit bottoms and a t-shirt to a club and I'd wear it with a nice pair of heels, dress it up, dress it down. Black tracksuit bottoms are also really, really good. I just feel like they maintain a lot of dust, like they bobble really easy, they get really dirty. And I feel like with black, like when you wash it too much, the color fades, whereas with gray, I just feel like they're just like, I don't even have the words for it. I can't lie to you guys. I do not have the words for it. All I know is that they are a must. Here. let's talk add-ons um this is probably the best shoe shelf that i could be using to give you guys some good examples but an amazing thing that i genuinely believe that everyone needs to have in their wardrobe is a nice pair of flip-flops and flats a nice pair of trainers but for me i'm a heels person and a nice pair of heels my all-time favorite at the moment is definitely these pointed toe ones i like the idea that my feet can breathe if you haven't already seen my feminine hygiene video go check it out i'm all about smelling good and your feet need to breathe honey so these are my favorite they are from pretty little thing they are just plain black pointed velvet or suede I'm not entirely sure it's like a little bit of both um perspex heels of a nice silver detail on the heel these are just my havanas or havianas or however you pronounce them um flip-flops and then i would say my favorite pair of trainers are probably my off-whites um they don't always go with everything but i just think they're just unbelievable like i literally think they're the most amazing thing ever yes i've got like child size feet i'm a uk size three so they are very small but yeah for me i just feel like it's so important to have a go-to trainer a go-to heel and a go-to flat that you can wear anywhere anytime any place and just look good honey you just need to look good so this for me is definitely a must-have okay guys let's talk accessories so whether you choose to accessorize with a hat that looks like this or or this just know either way you're gonna look cute this is mm, let me put back on my favorite hat this is my favorite style of hat i love a fedora hat i think a fedora hat is just absolutely phenomenal i feel like no matter what your outfit looks like like even the outfit i'm wearing now very casual just gray tracksuit bottoms very boring and plain 
a hat just jazzes everything up. I feel like you can have it in a variety of colors, whether it's black, gray, beige, red, whatever color you wanna wear. I'm obsessed with these hats, by the way. I just feel like it takes your outfit to a whole new level. If you're wearing like a nice blazer outfit, some heels, pop on a hat, banging. Nice staple necklace, nice rings, a nice watch. Beautiful, perfect. You just wanna chill and go to the park? Joggers, plain t-shirt, bang on a little beanie hat. Like I genuinely feel like hats just bring everything to life. So for me, an absolute must have staple piece is some form of a hat. Okay, and walk into frame with the next staple piece. Oh, oh, bitch. What? An oversized blazer. Ah, oh, blazer dresses are the best. Do you know why they're the best? Because you can genuinely wear these winter, daytime, summertime, nighttime. Doesn't matter when you're wearing it, it always looks good. You can wear these with flats, you can wear these with a nice sexy pair of heels, nice little clutch bag, show that thing off, boom, 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 put on a belt if you need to. I can't lie, they are my favorite things. I definitely feel like everyone knows I'm very obsessed with blazer dresses or just oversized blazers. So yeah, I would typically say go for a nice black because again, you can jazz it up with your lip color. You can style your hair in a particular way. You can wear nice colored shoes, flats, whatever it is, trainers. Yes, trainers do go blazer dresses too. I think the beauty of a blazer dress as well is that it complements any shape, size, height. Doesn't matter what you look like. A blazer dress, I genuinely feel like always looks good on, period. And yeah, this is my go-to. I am typically a silver wearing girl jewelry wise. This has got gold buttons, but I still think it looks absolutely beautiful. It's kind of just above the knee, like a, a mid kind of length, not too short, not too long. Could it be shorter? Yeah, like that height could also look really cute. I ain't gonna lie, that hair looks kinda cute too. Um, but yeah guys, this is definitely something that I would recommend everyone have when you're taking a nice picture on Instagram as well, because we all know you got to take a nice picture on Instagram. This definitely always hugs your waist and makes your hips come out. It just always looks nice. It's very much like a, I'm a boss bitch. I am a CEO. Don't talk to me. You can sit with us. Type of vibe. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. This is definitely something that I would recommend everyone to make sure they go and get. I came prepared. I came prepared this time. Um, Honestly, I feel like there's a theme going on in all my clothing that is either oversized or baggy this or too big that. But here we are back again with another baggy item. <laughs> my next piece, honestly, this burn is so dramatic. My next piece is just a plain oversized t-shirt. My go-to color at the moment for my t-shirt is a nice nude color. Um, beige, nude, cream, whatever you want to call it. This is kind of like my go-to colour at the moment. I just feel like in winter or summer, it looks really nice. I know most of my clothing is black, but weirdly enough, I don't actually have any at all. Maybe bar one, maybe one oversized black t-shirt. Everything is kind of in a different colour. I'm obsessed with it. I just think it looks nice with no, like literally anything. You can wear it as is with nice thigh high boots. You can wear it with a pair of jeans and tuck it in, leave it out. You can wear it with just a nice blazer over the shoulders and some nice shoes too. I just feel like this, can you guys hear my dogs barking in the background? <laughs> Honestly, I just feel like this is a nice piece. Again, I, I'm very much someone that likes plain items that you can either dress up, dress down. As you can tell, I'm very much a jewelry person. I love pieces of jewelry to go with stuff. So for me, the reason I like this so much is because it's very simple, which means I can style it creatively and dress myself in it however I want. And for me, I'm very much a loads and loads of jewelry, simple piece, maybe some nice high-waisted jeans, nice high-waisted tracksuit bottoms, and kind of go from there. Can you guys guess what my next item is? Oh, my favorite. These are my favorite pair of shorts. Look, guys, denim shorts. Oh, I know people are gonna say you can't really wear them in the winter in London, but you definitely can. Fight me in the comments, just saying. You got your rhythm going now. <laughs> you definitely can. Oh, guys, I can't deal with this burn. You definitely can. I feel like a nice pair of figure hugging shorts just elevate your outfit to the next level. The reason I say you can is because if done well and you wear nice thigh high boots, even if they're flat boots, but nice thigh high boots in the winter, an overcoat, like a nice trench coat or like a furry jacket, you look hot. Sorry, 
beef me in the comments tell me you don't look hot fight me then because i just think it's just sexy obviously you wear it in the summer i've kept on the same t-shirt and i've just chucked it in my shorts are actually from levi's absolutely obsessed with these shorts literally i'm almost certain that people probably hate them by now because i wear them with everything everywhere i go um i got them from melrose avenue in la they are vintage so i'm not too sure if you can still get them um but yeah this is one of my favorite pieces again nice pair of trainers nice pair of flats dress it up dress it down nice pair of heels a nice jacket with it absolutely in love i'm not gonna lie this is a whole vibe so my second to last piece guys <laughs> my second to last piece guys is a nice statement pair of more than likely ripped but denim shorts last but not least is a cropped hoodie i was trying to include something fun in my video guys i'm really really sorry a cropped hoodie so oh my god off topic before someone calls me out on it found out that this is actually broken so there's that awkward um but yeah a cropped hoodie i know it doesn't sound necessary and yes this is a very very bright color you do not have to get a bright color this again is from the same place just fyi that i got my original top from at the beginning of this video which is camouflage junkie again i will put the link in the bio of the items i've worn here just as well as the link to their page because genuinely guys they are my newfound obsession can't stop ranting and raving camo junkie get at me holler at your girl I need to be an ambassador absolutely love you but um yeah this is something that i think is necessary i think it's necessary because you know in the winter and in the summer you can wear it yes it is a cropped jumper it is hot but you know you just roll up the sleeves that's kind of it do you know what i mean just roll up the sleeves it allows you to breathe if you wear it with some shorts you can get some extra air going through your body and stuff like that i just think where two years ago my go-to would have been an oversized jumper completely like thick as anything that you could not wear in the summer i like this as a compromise if in the winter you want to wear jeans a leather jacket or a thick coat or whatever it is you want to wear with it absolutely fine if in the summer you want to wear it with some shorts again absolutely fine i just feel like it's just necessary i like to chill at home in it with tracksuit bottoms on and just literally lounge around can't lie 90 percent of the time i don't even keep the tracksuit bottoms on i'll just wear my underwear and a crop jumper it's just how it is i have an assortment of colors varieties hoodies not hoodies black gray green checkered white beige every type of color you can imagine but this has been my go-to i literally have had it on for about four days straight disgusting i know but yeah guys this is my last and final piece that i would say is a must have in your wardrobe just to wrap it up i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching i um, i hope this was informative i am not here trying to be like slash your cash honey but i do think that this is just some nice pieces to incorporate in your wardrobe if you don't already have them just for the pure fact that you can mix them around dress them down dress them up i know you guys noticed that i styled some of my go-to's with each other there's reasons for that they can be styled in multiple different ways but yeah i hope everyone is staying safe and positive i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.